A Catholic bishop named Daniel Jenke, who previously compared President Obama to Adolf Hitler of World War II fame, orders that an anti-Obama letter be read from the pulpit. This is a bizarre story. Last April, he delivered this uh, homily claim claiming that President Obama now seems intent on following a similar path to Adolf Hitler because of his radical pro-abortion secularist agenda. On Wednesday, he came within a hair of basically ordering every single priest under his supervision to campaign for Mitt Romney. He wrote this letter to priests and he said to all of the priests, by virtue of your vow of obedience to me as your bishop, listen to the language, I require that this letter be personally read by each celebrating priest at each weekend mass, November 3rd and 4th. This letter really doesn't leave any doubt that this is an, and it's, if not an endorsement of Romney as, as a direct endorsement, it's a very direct message not to vote for President Obama. Here's some of what it says. Neither the President of the United States nor the uh, current majority of the federal Senate have been willing to even consider the Catholic community's grave objections to the health and human services mandates that would require all Catholic institutions exempting only our church buildings to fund abortion, sterilization, and artificial contraception. Today, Catholic politicians, bureaucrats, and their supporters who callously enable the destruction of innocent human life in the womb also thereby reject Jesus as their Lord. They are objectively guilty of grave sin. For those who hope for salvation, no political loyalty can ever take precedence over loyalty to the Lord Jesus Christ and to his gospel of life. So basically, he is opposed to the candidate who would be in favor of birth control, the candidate who put into place Obamacare, the one who is okay with gay marriage. I think it's pretty clear who this guy is opposed to. Now, what's funny is he is, a, he is not even in, con in line with the majority Catholic opinion. In other words, the leadership of the Catholic Church is now so far out of the mainstream Catholic point of view that even Catholics don't agree with this guy, Lewis. That's the most incredible thing. Which is a good thing. And I mean, just that first line of his, of his demanding uh, the, the priest to read the letter, by virtue of your vow of obedience to me as your bishop. That's a creepy line. And that is insane. It is, yeah. And so just to give you some information, 82% of Catholics say birth control is morally acceptable. 54% of Catholics believe that religiously affiliated organizations should be uh, offering health insurance that covers contraception. So, listen, I think before anybody listens to this guy on anything, he should direct, he should first write a letter to all of his surrogates to stop participating in the cover-up of child molestation. Let's get that letter out of the way. Then we can talk about who we're going to vote for. And, of course, they should lose their tax-exempt status for, for advocating. Number one.